a great activity to do after school or with the whole family is karate. We met with Ernest Starr of Heidi Ochi's Karate of Ohio, who told us more. Well, Ernest, welcome to Out About Columbus, and thanks for having us out to Heidi Ochi's Karate of Ohio. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys coming about to see what we do. Well, tell us a little bit about the history of martial arts and why it's so important. Well, uh, martial arts actually was uh, initially started in, in China, the monks used to do it for physical practice because they live a sedentary lifestyle. And in oh many hundreds of years ago, they started trade with Japan. The martial art that was in China was imported to, to Okinawa. And from Okinawa, it spread throughout Japan. We practice in a place called the dojo. And the dojo means a place of the way. The ancient martial artists were uh, people of faith, especially the samurai, because they never knew when they were going to be called to give their life for the daimyo. What can a practitioner expect to experience while they're doing this activity? The first thing I do when I get someone in is uh, we teach them basics. We teach them how to make, how to make a fist, um, how to make a stance, which is very important. And then the next, very next thing I try to teach them is how to fall and how to roll. And this way they get comfortable with moving around. And, and learning where their bodies are. The other thing we get them to do is to uh, learn what they call kata, K-A-T-A, kata, which is, means form. And the form, it's a prearranged uh, movements against imaginary opponents. Well, how can we find out more information? Well, you can always go to the website at um, com. Ernest, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all about your wonderful experience with karate and your great school. Well, thank you so much for having me, and uh, thank you for coming.